What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Bless Unleashed. I made a ton of videos on this over the summer and they have the November beta out right now. So we are jumping back into it again. I'm really excited. Um, I am about 30 minutes into the game right now. I did the first part back over the summer. So I'll link that down below if you guys do want to check that out. Just in case, um, there might be some important things in the story that you don't want to miss. So if you want to check that out, feel free. And basically, we just woke up in this bed right here. Um, these are all people that have spawned in in the same location as we have. And we're going out into the world for the first time. So if you haven't heard of this game, it's an upcoming MMORPG on the Xbox One. Um, it's still unknown as to when it's coming out, as far as I know. I remember over the summer, one of my friends tweeted the developers and they said that they were hoping for a summer release, but I think that there's been a lot of um, hiccups along the way, so they're still trying to perfect it and um, make it an enjoyable game for everyone. So I'm curious to see what they changed. It's definitely fun to play. It's a beautiful game. It has a beautiful world. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So um, it looks like we need to talk to Marco over here. I need to figure things out. Okay. This is running really smoothly. I don't notice any kind of lag. I'm running on the original Xbox right now, so that's saying something. So I do have a new character because my last character did not carry over from the previous beta. They wiped that completely clean. Um, so I did make a new character, another Berserker, which is the one that I had before. If you guys want to see gameplay with different races and characters, let me know. Because I would be down to do that. I love the like spotting on her skin. It's really cool. Talk to Marco again. Shake this bad feeling I have. Okay, so we have to go find some herbs to heal the griffin. Um, let's see. I think we just gotta go over this way. This is our mailbox. So they sent us a gift. Hope this helps you when you're out there on your adventures. They gave us Resurrection Sickness Potions times three and a Salt Grilled Meat Lunchbox times five. So we'll receive those. And delete. Awesome. This just looks so nice. I'm so excited for this to come out, you guys. It's supposed to be completely free to play when it does come out. I'm sure there's going to be microtransactions, um, which is pretty standard for any MMORPG. I think we're going a little too far here. Or this might be another side quest. Let's talk to him. So I think we need to go get more of the soup from Giovanni 
and bring it to the farmers. So these are just a bunch of little side quests right now that we're doing. So we're gonna share our soup with them. Uh, I don't think I can share it with these guys. Um, right here. Do that. Have a moment. Yeah, that actually looks better. Okay, cool. And we can use the soul pyres to regain health as far as I know, if I remember correctly. Um, if we're low on health, we can just sit at one of these and we don't have to pay anything to regain health or use any potions or anything like that. So that's really cool. Um, well, I guess we have to go out this way to get those herbs. Here we go. Okay. Show you guys a little of the combat if I can. I feel like they did improve the combat speed just a little bit. It doesn't feel as sluggish as it did in the um, last beta that I played. So that's definitely an improvement. That was one of the main things that people were complaining about, so. It's still slow, but you know, something that we'll have to get used to. Okay, so let's see. There's a number one here, so I don't know. I guess it's just a wolf pack that we can take out for probably like additional experience or stuff like that, rewards. They do different public events, which is really cool. I got to experience some of those in the last beta, but it was extremely laggy. The servers definitely were not ready to handle that um, at that time, but it was still really fun. It was something that took us literally probably two hours to complete the whole thing. There's just all these waves of enemies that spawn in and everybody in the world gets to go there and fight and we were dying every two minutes. It was just insane. I think it was way above our difficulty, but it was still a lot of fun. Alright, so there's a little check mark next to the wolf pack, so I'm thinking that we completed whatever side quest this was. So you can go talk to the shepherd over here. Okay, so he gave us some gold and some experience. Um, we gotta go back up this way to Give the herbs to Marco, I believe, to heal the griffin. This is running really smoothly so far. I'm definitely impressed. I don't see where they're loaded in yet, so it's probably just gonna take a second. Look at the griffin, he's so pretty. Okay, we gotta speak with Marco. If you guys want me to read the text in like the next couple videos, let me know because I can do that too. I just know some people like to read on their own, so 
letting you guys do that for this video, but if you'd like me to read the text, I can do that. Okay. Receiving a quest automatically registers into your favorites. All right. We have to meet Giovanni at the crossroads. So that's down this way. We're gonna go the th down this way over here. Who's this lady? Let's see if we can... Nope, we can't gather those. And there are a lot of random treasure chests that you have to keep an eye out for, too. And every time that you find one, when you open them, you get, like, these inventory pieces. And I think you need, like, three or five inventory pieces to get an extra inventory slot. What is that? I want that, whatever that is. Can we get up here? Okay, these are just different things that we can mine, so you'll see little nodes out here in the world that you can collect resources from. Sorry, lady, I got it first. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I just want to look around a little bit before we go farther down. These are one of the chests I was telling you guys about, so when you collect them, you'll see if it's the same. We got a bag piece. We got one out of four. So any time that you collect those, after you get four of them, there's a little NPC that you can turn them into in the main city. This girl's pissed. I've taken, like, all the ores. Um, there's a little NPC that you can turn them into, and he will give you an extra inventory slot for every four of those that you have. So, just something to keep in mind. She's collecting these things. I want to collect some. Everybody's, like, snatching all of them up. I can't get any. So, I'm just... Just looking around a little bit, guys, before we head out. Because I don't know if we come back this way. I don't think we do. But I have been extremely excited for this to release. Um, I hope it's soon because I'm looking forward to playing it and progressing continuously. It's just a lot of fun and it's a really pretty new world to kind of dive into. So these little things cause the ch like chest, they have a little um, icon on the map. So you'll know when they're in the area. Like this one you can see if I move. There's a little chest icon right here. So we can open that. So then we'll have two out of four. And if somebody else grabs them, it does take a second for them to respawn. So if it's not letting you grab one and you know that you haven't gotten that one before, just give it a second and it will regenerate. I only know all of this because I played for a couple of hours during the last beta. So I got to experience a lot of different things. Um, so once you unlock these, I guess you can teleport to different locations, which makes that nice. It's the one thing about, like, I love Black Desert Online, but that's the one thing that really sucks is you can't teleport anywhere. Make sure we're not missing anything back here. We got a little quest over here, though. I won't be joining you on the road to Karzakor. I've got some friends I'm meeting in the city and I couldn't wait for you. Besides, they're pretty rough customers. It's better if we travel separately. But don't worry, finding the harbor is easy. Just turn south at the telepost and follow the road. You can't miss it. I left you a bag of supplies to make up for the tricking... To make up for tricking you. I hope there's no hard feelings. P.S. If my father asked, tell him I went with you. You ate my soup. You owe me that much. Okay. So... We actually have to go 
the other way, but... Have we been up here yet? I think we already have been up here, so... Maybe we haven't. I don't know. I want to find the, um... Oh, wait. Is he over here? <gasps> yes, this is what I was looking for. I want to show you guys him once he respawns. Oh, wait. He's right here, I think. Isn't he? Yes, this is the Wolf King. So he respawns, like, every five minutes, maybe. Or quicker. I'm not really sure. But you get, um... I think a new piece of armor. Yeah, we get some new gauntlets for fighting him, which is pretty cool. So if I can figure out how to get into our inventory. Let's see. Let's go into our bag. I like that, like, all these new little menu screens, these are all new. These weren't in the last beta, so that's kind of nice. It's kind of, um helping you navigate your way through everything. I don't know where my gauntlets are at, though. Or wait, they were already equipped. I think. Okay, so when the E is next to it like that, that's when you know you have it equipped. So we did just put our gauntlets on, as we can see in the picture. They look pretty cool. All right, let's continue our way on. Got another chest out this way, it looks like. They actually fixed it, so now it looks like more than one person can grab those at a time, which is nice. <clears throat> because there's so many people in the world that when you have to wait for... <laughs> everyone else to grab it and for it to respawn. It takes forever. Let's see, I think Wolf King's back up so we can fight him one more time. That was actually pretty quick. Okay, we took some damage there. He's almost dead though. And he does give you the same thing over and over from what I've noticed, too. So, he did give us some more gold. We'll be able to sell those gauntlets because we already have a pair. Um, yeah. I'm not sure if the drops change or if it's the same every time, but... that's I fought him probably a good ten times, I would say, in the last beta, and it was the same drop every time, so... Bandit ambush, all right. This one's a tough one because everybody kills these bandits so fast. We need to repair the car and tend to the fallen. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So these guys are just gonna hang out with me and wait for the bandits to respawn. They die pretty quickly, so when they spawn, you want to try to get a hit on them as soon as possible. I seen, um... Somebody was complaining in the chat when I was getting all set up yesterday, the day before, I think, that this was a really tough quest because there was just so many people trying to do it at the same time. So we'll try. If we can't get it, then I'm just going to move on. I think the problem is their health bars aren't that big. So... There, we got a hit on them, so that's all we need. Perfect. Easy as pie. Let's see what we got. We got a heavy belt. So let's pop into our inventory again. Looks like we got a skill point. Um, 
We want to go into our waist. Put on our heavy belt. I feel like they made some changes to the armor. I don't remember it being that bulky, maybe? I feel like it was kind of like more subdued and like didn't stand out as much, but now it's like when you have a piece of armor on, you can tell, you can see it. Which that's cool, I mean, that's what you want. All right, guys, we're gonna keep it moving. I hope we get to the main city soon because I want to show you guys how the the main city looks. It's really awesome. Let's see, we got another. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's right here in the grass. I can barely see it. This is like one of those things where you really want to pay attention to your map because I would have missed that. So I'm constantly kind of like glancing at the map and then glancing at, you know, my screen. Just to make sure I'm not missing anything. So we're gonna talk to Mr. Douglas over here. Fenton's cart was robbed. The bloody bandits, why are they doing this? Someone ought to do something. Ooh, look at these guys. Pretty. Texture on the horses is really nice. Um Are you window shopping or are you actually going to buy something? Okay, cool. So this is our first merchant, I believe, that we've come across. Looks like he um he sells some mounts. Which we don't really have enough for that right now. So I am just going to go in and sell these. And that's it, I think, for right now. Because we already have one set of our gauntlets on from the Wolf King. So I just wanted to sell that second pair. Okay, and there's like a little tag with a horse on there. So you can tell that he sells mounts to purchase. I'm on duty. Is that potato soup I smell? The farmer's boy sells us some from time to time. You must come here from the farm. You must have come here from the farm up the road. Food is scarce in Karzakor these days. Welcome to Cars Corps. Can't say it's a great time to visit. Things are getting pretty bad around here. I advise you to conduct whatever business you're here for and leave before things get any worse. Okay. Yay! I don't think this is the main, main area, but we're definitely getting to the point we're gonna dive into some larger areas of the world. Anytime that you see these, you want to go over there and make sure that you activate them. If they're not activated, they just won't have fire in them, so. Just walk by it and activate them. Um, who are we supposed to talk to here? Are we supposed to just kill them all, I guess? Okay. Thank you for stepping in. Take my seal. I owe you that much at least. Okay, so he must have given us some sort of seal to get into the next location, I'm assuming. Can you make a delivery on the way? I've collected these anchovy scraps for the shabiki at the end of the harbor. Okay, so we'll say yes. Sure, I'll give them to the shabiki. Um, 
I feel like there's a chest out here somewhere. Hmm. There's definitely a chest out here somewhere. What do we got over here? An alchemy station, okay. That's neat. So that's what they look like. Okay, yes, there is a chest out here. So the cap in this beta is level 30. We're only level 4, so we can play this for a while if you guys really are interested in it. I know um, I definitely plan on putting some time into it. I want to make sure this is activated. Okay. Slow down. What's your hurry? Okay, so this is the fish that we were supposed to turn in for that guy. Awesome. Reputation represents the region's approval of your character, I think is what it said. Uh, looks like he's got another side quest. So he's giving us wine. Traditional shabiki wine. All right. What do we got here? We just gave away our bottle of wine to this guy. Hey, as long as we're getting experience, I'm cool with it. Reputation points, all that stuff. Um, he actually might give us something else here. Many of us have been forced to make do. I hear the larvae that live in the riverbank are edible if you roast them. Could you catch a few and bring them to me at this point? I'll eat anything. Oh, bleh. okay. So we need to go get this guy larvae, apparently. Um... I don't know what riverbank. Oh, right here. Ew, look at these guys. Is this enough? Speckled larva meat? Oh, he wants six of them. He's being greedy. to figure out like different kinds of moves and stuff like that. Like we have our LT which is our rage I think. I don't really know what that does. It's on cooldown right now. Um, looks like B might be like a dash. It's not letting me do that though right now. And we've got LB which does something. Hmm. Insufficient resources. We must need something to be able to do that. Oh no! That was so close. That was so close. Did we get enough? Yeah, I think we did. Way too much. How many of these am I taking? You can't own it anymore. Okay, so we've got enough. Go give it to this guy. Alright. I feel like I've seen a chest or something over here, though. Yeah, there is one down here. So hopefully by the time we get to the main city area, we'll have a couple 
different inventory spots that we can get. Does he want us to do something else for him? Come on. What is he saying? Take this seed grain to sand shell in the common marketplace. I'm sure she'll offer you a fair price for it. Okay. All right, guys, I didn't realize we were at 30 minutes already. So if you did like this video and you're enjoying this, let me know because I would love to play more of it for you guys. Um, like I said, I'm not sure when this is coming out as far as the full game. I know the beta is going on for about a week and a half, I think. So I would love to be able to play this for a couple more hours, dive into it a little bit more, see more of the story and the different locations. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And with that being said, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.